my name is Lindsay and I work for EC ECU Campus Living and we are touring Legacy today. I'm standing in front of Legacy's nameplate which has some interesting facts. Um, it was built in 1960 um, and it's the second residence hall that was built on College Hill. Um, I'm currently in the basement which houses academic study areas for students as well as TVs and game places uh, for students to interact with each other when they're not doing schoolwork. Um, our PALS program, which is a tutoring center, is also located in the basement. Um, when you go upstairs, that's where you'll have our traditional room styles, mostly double rooms with a hall bathroom. Uh, we are also currently doing a um, construction project to improve the residence hall's air quality. Um, and so Legacy will continue to be one of our homes for our students on campus and for students to enjoy their time on, on campus. So we are now in a standard room in Legacy and each of our rooms has two beds which are twin XL and each of the room will also have two desks, two dressers, a wardrobe or a closet, so in Legacy's case they're wardrobes, um, as well as the beds which are adjustable. So these beds are currently at their highest and so this gives the students opportunity to put storage underneath. You can also purchase bed lifts or bed risers from places like Walmart, Target, that'll bring the bed up a couple more inches so that you can store your dressers or your desk underneath. Um, some students also take advantage of our loft kits um, that you'll be able to receive information about once you get your room assignment in late June. These will bring the bed up to a much higher level. Um, students will sometimes put their desks or futons underneath, um, but it would be up to you, you and your roommate, to set up the room however you wish. All the furniture in the room is movable, um, so you can play with that once you get here. Uh, the room also includes one fridge and microwave unit. That's the only thing that there's only one of, but everything else in the room, there's two for each student. Legacy does have air conditioning, which is in the window as well as it has windows with blinds and students are able to set the temperature to however they like. So we are now uh, still in the basement in the laundry room for Legacy and all of our washing machines are and dryers are here and so the size of the laundry rooms depend on the size of the residence hall and the number of students it houses but all of the washing machines are being paid for through your room rent so no need for quarters or coins you can come down here it'll tell you the time that it'll take set a timer go do homework and come back and move it to the dryer and then you're done and ready to go some of our residence halls are homes to pianos. You'll find either a grand piano or a studio piano, and they will be on the lobby floor or they will be in a practice music room um, in the residence halls, and they are open for student use at any time. We have areas like this in our residence halls to encourage students to recycle. Um, you will be able to bring your trash to different areas on the floors uh, for students to dispose of their items, but we will have a centralized recycling center for the residence halls. In our residence halls, we also have water fountains. Some of them will be traditional, and some of them will also have bottle fillers. And also, the residence halls have an ice machine for students to be able to fill up their bottles on their way to class. This is one of our community bathrooms here on a floor in Legacy. It has multiple sinks for you to use, as well as a separate area for showers and for toilets. So you would be able to come in, brush your teeth, take your contacts out, um, as you would share it with your floor mates. Our bathrooms here are maintained by our housing, our um, housekeeping staff, and so students won't have to worry about that. Uh, thank you for coming to Legacy today, and feel free to message us if you have any more questions.